Hey guys, it's Billy the Blue Ranger here with another card trick tutorial. That's right, when I'm not busy fighting crime, I'm doing card tricks. Um, among other things. So here, uh, here's a crazy card trick, guys. A uh, working of a classic. You know, people say, oh man, classics are a classic because they're old as shit. Well, you know what? Sometimes the, the classics have some nuggets in them that you could just squeeze out like a dingleberry. Uh, so here's one of those. Uh, we're going to be using these Tangram playing cards. Um, you could see the review. Uh, and if it's not up by the time I post this video, then disregard what I just said. But uh, here we're going to use uh, these, these very nice playing cards here to demonstrate the power of the spectator's intuition. Um, so, sir, do me a favor. Select any card you want here. Let's say they pick this card, the Nine of Diamonds, a great selection. Uh, that's for sure. So here we're going to take the nine and we're going to control it in the deck uh, to a random location. So it's it's right now controlled to a random location in the deck somewhere that we have no idea where it could be. That's that's the point here. <laughs> uh, sir, do me a favor and cut off half the deck here. That's great. Uh, just leave it to the table because we're, we're going to use, believe it or not, your woman's intuition to find to find the playing card here. So I'm just gonna take cards from where the spot where you cut. And uh, I want you, sir, whenever it feels right for you, I want you just to call the word stop. Call the word stop. Uh, right there, you sure? That's a great choice, sir. Uh, believe it or not, you stopped right here. Uh, if you would have stopped one card more, it would have been the five of spades, one card less, and it would have been the jack of spades. But you stopped right here, sir, using your woman's intuition. It's the current year and you found your selected playing card. Uh, oh boy, man. If you're not subscribing already, I don't know what you're doing, but you should be subscribing because that was hot. That was really hot. And I need to be relevant in the YouTube game. Seriously, Social Blade. Um, things are happening, guys. Uh, oh. Oh, gay transition. Whoa, we're back. All right. So the, uh, the, the this is going to be a little bit of a hot tutorial of a classic move here. Uh, now, the glide is a move that's been uh, overdone and uh, done by everyone on television and done by bad amateur magicians and done by gay pig magicians. So this is going to be a reworking of the glide that first saw light according to many by Di Vernon. However, it's been an expert car technique. It's been known as the side glide. Uh, the classic glide goes all the way back to a uh, fucking discovery of witchcraft with the idea of the second card being drawn with the first card being injured. So everyone knows the glide. However, believe it or not, when, when done the same move from this position, it becomes very disarming, which is what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today the side glide. So Vernon, thank you. Browie, thank you. Uh, Hugard, thank you. All of you guys are dead as fuck now, but you guys have contributed an immense amount to card magic. So as you guys may know, the uh, glide is done by holding the deck in this sort of position. And as your hand comes down, uh, you are using your fingers to bring down this card uh, in jogging it towards yourself, which allows you to grab the second card from the, from the bottom there. So you could have the spectator call stop. Again, I'm taking these cards over here. And whenever they call stop, I just reach in, grab the original bottom card and go, hey guys, you stopped on the bottom card. However, people are familiar with this grip. People are familiar with this grip. So by taking it to this biddle grip and using it from the side, it becomes very, very disarming, even for people who already have seen Chris Pratt card trick exposed. Fuck it. So the side glide here, the mechanics are going to be of the Kelly bottom replacement move. That's right. One of my favorite moves. Uh, it's very versatile and can be done in many different things. Here, all it's being used for is to just push that card aside a little bit, enough for you to be able to reach in there and grab those cards and deal them from the bottom without disturbing the original bottom card, the four of clubs. Oh boy, that's hot. So just a little bit of a uh, mechanics here, guys. You're going to hold the deck in this sort of grip in your right hand, in middle grip, as they say. And what's going to happen is that you're going to use your ring finger here to press down on the face of this bottom card. See, see that? 
what that's going to do is that that's going to separate that bottom card significantly from the rest of the deck. And that's what's going to allow you to do the move. Now, of course, the card is being covered by your hand. The only angle here that might be seen, which you want to watch, watch out for, is the card being uh, poked too much between the ring finger and the middle finger. So that's where you want to avoid there. But you see what that allows you to do is to use your dirty little hands to reach in here and peel off the bottom cards without disturbing that card that's going to become the force card right here. So you see what that does? So that when they call stop, all you have to do is just have your fingertips, grab that card, peel it off as if it was the next card. They stop that and you show it and that's your force. So it could be done as a force. It could be done as a revelation. However, here I have a couple hot tips on this particular trick, which make it just, mm, ah, oh, just make it just, uh, you want to stick your, your wiener inside of it from how good it is. So what's going to happen is that you're going to have a card picked. In this case, it's the Jack, Jack of clubs right here. Uh, you could do whatever, whatever bullshit, uh, is on Instagram this week. Uh, you could glue it right there to your hand and do with one of these, uh, the Todor. Uh, and then here, what's going to happen is you're going to control this card to the bottom via your favorite method. Mine is the uh, octuple undercut, as, as I've mentioned before. So you're going to get a break below the card as you square up the deck, and then you're going to cut it to the bottom of the deck. Uh, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, and then that's the oct. Uh, um, undercut. Oh, yeah, fucking card here. So yeah, that card is not controlled to the bottom. And here you're going to have the spectator cut off half the deck and put it in a table. And this is where you do a little bit of exposition uh, for time misdirection because you're going to be doing a, a little hot pig cake touch on the cross cut force. You're not really going to be forcing a card here. You're going to be forcing a position in a deck and miss having the spectator kind of misremember the situation here. So they cut the top half to the, to the middle of the deck. You're going to regrip the cards in your right hand in preparation for that move we just discussed. However, you're going to say, sir, you're going to use your woman's intuition to find a card here. That's right. Uh, you're going to use the little bit of estrogen you have in your body to see if you could determine the position of the card you just merely selected. So I'm not going to find it. You're going to find it, sir. And here, this is enough misdirection for the spectator to remember the orientation of the cards, right? Oh man, this is hot. This is really hot. So to them, it just seems like they cut the cards to the table and you're continuing from the cut. Really, you're continuing from the bottom of the deck. So this seems like a random placement. Really, you're ready to force this bottom card right here. So you do the force. They call stop anytime they want. Right there, let's say they call stop right there. You go, oh, that's fantastic. So you could have stopped at any card. As a matter of fact, one card more, and it would have been the queen of diamonds. One card less, and it would have been the seven of clubs. But you stopped right here. <sighs> right there on the jack of clubs. Uh, definite, definite sign of woman's intuition, sir. You are a goddess. You are a goddess among men. Uh, so again, make sure to not be able to flash that card in that little extreme corner. So you wanna bevel the cards so they don't see that. Uh, and then you just peel the cards off the bottom, peel the bottom card when you wanna force it. And guess what? You're ready to do a hot trick here, a hot and ready card trick that you could do on your friends. Uh, so there you go, guys. That's, that's the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys practice it. Uh, please leave a comment below as to what your favorite type of interdimensional interdimensional species is. And um, I'll be sure to read them. And that will sure to boost my search engine optimizations along with the likes that you're going to leave for liking this trick. Uh, I'm going to go figure out different ways to use a plastic pig to have a colonoscopy. See you again when I see you. Yeah.